So I, I was teaching these students at Elon University two nights ago, and I told them this dangerous prayer. I said, this is a dangerous prayer. If you pray it, it might come true. So here it is. But be careful when you pray this prayer, because the way it represents itself may not be the way you expect. Here's the prayer. Dear God, I want more. Give me more. But we think when we're praying for more, we're praying for more followers on Instagram and more money and more degrees and more friends and more love and more, more, more. But really what we're praying for is more aliveness, more of a relationship with something that created us, more courage to be who we are. And sometimes that prayer is answered with pain, with tragedy, with that which breaks us open so that we can be more. In those moments of aloneness, we're broken open and we can become more. Even if what we're asking for is not, what we get is not what we thought we were asking for. I wanted to be more. And then I got this guy in a Department of Health saying to me, I'm sorry, your HIV results are positive. And that was the moment I realized, oh, this is more. This is more. This is what more includes. More life, more awakeness, more aliveness means I have to feel more darkness, more aloneness. I have to sit in the belly of the whale. That's more. But look where it got me. <laughs> and, look, and look what I did with it. And look what I did with it. Yeah. I'm grateful to the whale. I'm grateful for darkness and for alone time. <laughs>